Uh, some more modeling done there. I've got, um, I'd like to say, nice clean holes through the fuselage um, with this matte cap. Basically, it's a finish that you can apply on the blender models. Um, temporary finish, this isn't a permanent finish, but it just gives you uh, a nice glossy finish so you can see any distortions and you can see I'm getting quite a lot of pinching here and there around the edges of this cutout is really really untidy um, it's quite untidy here as well um, it's probably, I, I, I can fix this I, I'm not quite sure how but I know I can fix this um, I've also got pinching here and at the very front I've got pinching here and these are on the corners where the fuselage has been cut and I've applied a bevel and I suspect if I take the bevel out, let this pinching will disappear, but I really want the bevel because, as I explained before on the blueprints, this is a sharp edge here. Um, not quite sure what to do yet, but sometimes you have to just walk away from a part of the model and come back later when, uh, uh, with, with a clear head and maybe have some ideas. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed the poly count up here, the, the vertice count is absolutely enormous. Um, there's a good reason for that, and that is because of the temporary fuselage that I created. Um, I made a copy of the original fuselage in the previous video uh, and increased the, the, the poly count of it. If I just delete that, you'll see I've actually only got 13,000 verts. So, uh, still quite a lot of verts but this is for the uh, the high poly model I mean that that count is going to increase once it's um, 
once it's increased, uh, once I've finished the model and finished all the subsurface detailing, I'm hoping that I can apply some texture maps to include um, some of the details and then I can uh, take the vertices out of those and hopefully add some bump mapping of some the script. I'm going to leave it there and uh, we'll be back with another video. Um, there's going to be, the videos won't be as frequent now because obviously the model's complexity is getting harder as you can see cutting these shapes. While it should seem like a trivial thing, it's actually keeping the, the, the model looking smooth after applying the, uh, the, the, the shape changes is quite a trick. But uh, uh, probably what I'll do is I'll have a look at fixing this off camera, uh, fixing the shape here off camera and then coming back to you and uh, replicating what I've done to fix it. And that'll probably save you having to watch even two hours of videos. It's probably going to take me ages to, to fix this, but uh, I will be back. Thanks for watching.